Hello and welcome to part two of this framing a mosaic wizard video. Um, in part one we run through just framing a single frame and uh, in this video we're now going to run through mosaic and how to make up a 9 16 panel mosaic and then um, bring that mosaic forward into a sequence. So we open, open up sequence generator pro again you'll see I'm using 26025 um, I think the process is the same for pretty well all uh, versions and certainly the beta 3 is exactly the same. Now again as shown in video 1 the best way to do this is to apply the profile that you're going to be using to the sequence first and in this instance because of the particular image that I'm going to be using to make a mosaic I'm going to be using a smaller sensor camera than my normal Attic 16200. Uh, so I'm going to use a Starlight Express camera on this. And again we go to the Framing and Mosaic Wizard, but this time we're actually, you'll see the, the data populated here is a much smaller sensor. And the reason being that the image that we're going to use is um, the Heart Nebula. Now with my particular sensor here, um, if I just have one frame you'll see that I can't fit the whole thing so I actually need to make a mosaic. Now you can either, uh, if we delete that particular one, um, you can either just draw uh, the bigger field um, with your, your left mouse so you hold your left mouse down if we get rid of that one so we, we've got no data in there. If I click on draw and I can actually select the whole lot and it will pick how many tiles that I need. And you can change this if you decide, well, actually, I need, I want to go four by four. So I'm going to have 16, a 16 tile mosaic. Um, that's probably a bit too big, actually. So if we go three by three, that's a nice field of view for covering that mosaic. So this one's going to be a nine panel mosaic. Um, once you've created that, you can add or take away or move it around or, you know, until you're happy with the framing that suits you, suits your sensor size and so on. All you do then is create sequence. Click the button. We want to name it. So we'll call this uh, Mosaic 1 just for, uh, for here. Append the targets to sequence or replace the sequence. Now, when you open up a new sequence, it will automatically have target 1 as the default. Uh, we're not going to append to that, we don't want to add these and still have target one because we're making this our primary target, so we'll replace that. Um, Auto-rotate, unless you've got a rotator, it, that's irrelevant, you can just leave that ticked. Precision centering, plate solving, so we want that, so we want everything to plate solve so that we're exactly uh, on target when we start the, uh, the sequence. And associate the working image with a sequence. What this does is the background image, it uses that as the reference image for any changes that you make in the future. So it's best to keep that checked because you don't want to replace that with another image uh, that will be different. You want to use the original image that you made the mosaic from as the reference image in the future. So click OK and you'll see it will run away. Success created nine new targets. So when we look at the sequence now, you'll see all the targets are now populated in the target fields. Now if we click on the first one you'll see the reference information there and if you click on the last one you'll see it's actually different. So it showed that the mosaic has uh, set itself up for the various areas that it needs to image in. Now the next way forward obviously is to set up each of your um, events within each of these um, targets because each one is an individual target each frame within the mosaic is an individual target so the way that I found is best to do this is to just set up the first target so if we go loom uh, we're going to have it as L exposure we're going to make 10 minute exposures and let's say we're going to have 20 subs per one now what we can do here is if we click on the event options we can copy this down to five. So we're going to do LRGBHA. So we'll say OK. And it copies all them down. And then all that we need to do here is to change the filter. So we go red, green, blue, HA, uh, which is going to be R, G, B, HA. So the rest is all done. That's fine. We've now got the first one done. 
But of course we would need to now copy that down to every one of our nine tiles. So all that we actually need to do now is on the one that we've been working on, which was the last one here for whatever reason, is just right click within this field. And then we can go down here, copy events to, select all, OK, click yes, and that will now copy all the events within the, the single target that we set up into all the rest of the targets within the mosaic. So it saves loads of time in, uh, in having to repeat all that. So if we now have a look in every target, all our events are now set up. And if you want to add flats and so on afterwards, you can then run the flats wizard and that will add those targets, the flats, flat frames to this and bias. It will add it all to your particular sequence. Again, go save file sequence, uh, save sequence, so save your sequence to whatever you want to save it as. And then once that's all done, you're ready to run, assuming you've you've set up your, uh, your equipment as previously and you've logged on and you're all ready to go, but that sets your sequence up to run the mosaic. You then click run sequence and off you'll go. You'll start at the beginning and you'll start running through each one of these um, targets as a separate event. Hopefully that's helped and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.